and then the cops don't do anything because they're on the take. A lot of times it's the cops doing it. And we're all going to live like they do in Nigeria or how they live in Costa Rica. I mean, well, Costa Rica will seem heavenly, but it's even becoming crime-ridden. Or how they live in uh, the crime-infested areas of Brazil. This is how the globalists like it. And they're going to get what they want unless you wake up and say no. But again, the Mexican investigator of the 72 murdered migrants, so he got killed. Uh, we're going to get get into machete when we come back. Then I'm going to get into some really good news. But stay with us. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Listen up, friends. This is Alex Jones with key information. The mainstream media is now admitting that we're going into a depression. Don't be dependent on the government for you and your family. You need to get your own supply of high-quality storable foods from eFoodsDirect.com. They're the best company out there, the longest continually operating, with a ton of great food to choose from. It's all fresh and made on a monthly basis, not some old cruddy food they're selling you like some of the other guys. Try their new evacuation pack, a two-week supply of delicious, easy-to-fix food. It comes with all the equipment you need to prepare it. With open talk of a strike on Iran in the next three months, the crisis in the Gulf, and possible evacuations, get yourself and your family ready today. The place to go is eFoodsDirect.com. Go to their website online right now, eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex, or call 800-409-5633. Again, on the web, eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex, or give them a call at 800-409-5633. You may be arrested and or subject to other police action. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. You've heard Alex explain how the Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced colloidal silver solutions, yet many are unaware of the entire function of the Silver Lung System and how it has been designed to deliver your silver solutions anywhere in or on the body. My name is Mario Cifaldi, and I'm the developer of the Silver Lungs Generator. Not only does the Silver Lung System produce endless colloidal and ionic silver solutions, it also comes equipped with the proper applicators and devices needed to deliver your silver solutions directly to key target areas. This includes the eyes, ears, nose, lungs, topically to the skin, and orally for the digestive system. Be sure to watch our new seven minute video tour of the Silver Lung System at www.silverlungs.com to learn more about how the Silver Lung System works. As well, we are always ready to answer any questions you may have. That's www.silverlungs.com. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Okay, coming up is a shorter video on the flu vaccines that gives you all the evidence of how it's killing and maiming people by design. And you talk about sleeping good at night. I sleep really good coming out a year before it was mainstream news that the H1N1 was a fraud and now it's admitted and admitted it killed a bunch of people and causes autoimmune disorders and all sorts of neurological disorders. Parkinson's, Guillain-Barre, uh, narcolepsy, uh, epilepsy, you name it. If you want to be have some neurological disorders and you think that sounds fun and you think brain tumor sounds fun, go out and take their shots because they're trying to murder your butt, okay? This isn't a game, and I'm not playing games. Does that mean your kid might not get spinal meningitis? Does that mean your kid might get the flu or the measles and might die? 
I'm not saying that vaccine science doesn't have some truth to it. I'm not an anti-technology guy. I'm telling you, Big Pharma's a bunch of murder and eugenicists on record contracting with the Rockefellers and others in the U.N. to hurt you bad. We've got mainstream government documents, all of it up on InfoWars and Prison Planet today. So that's coming up, then some other news. But here is Machete, where I break down the history of this movie, how it's coming out. And it's more than just the movie. It shows how Fox News, News Corps, is the company putting this movie out. And at first their neocons attacked it, then found out it was their property. Fox pulled the articles. And then Rodriguez played dumb and said... You don't have the script. You know, this isn't real. Then later he admitted, okay, it, it might cause race violence. I'm, I'm cutting out the violent stuff. Now he's had the producer come out and say that I'm basically a liar. And uh, so I don't know what is going on with this, but we're going to find out when this movie comes out. All right, let's go ahead and play the clip. Here it is. Th this video is up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And the uh, headline on it is Will Machete... Re release, will machete release spark racial violence? And it can cause some good old boys, you know, to, to get violent with Hispanics. That's what Hispanics are concerned about. I mean, this is, a, this is dangerous. If it's being put out the way the script says it is and the Arizona trailer, we didn't cross the border, the border crossed us, and then images of illegals hacking Whitey up with machetes. Here it is. It's August 31st, 2010. Three days from now, Machete is going to premiere in theaters across North America. Going back about three months ago, Hispanic members of Robert Rodriguez's film crew here in Austin, Texas, contacted me and said they were really concerned about the film's message and that it was very, very divisive. And that it would reflect badly on Hispanics, not just create racial division. Then I got a copy of the script, the script that they used for the film. And it is a race war that bills white people as the devil. And uh, Mr. Trejo, the star, Machete, or Machete, uh, as a folk hero who they then pray and worship at the end of the film. And it's got gringos out sacrificing, you know, crucifying Catholic priests, killing Hispanic children. It's over the top. It's like a Hispanic version of Birth of the Nation. I mean, this is really dangerous stuff. And then Rodriguez told Ain't It Cool News that, okay, I had too much tequila, and I am going to cut some stuff out of the film. It could cause some problems. And I thought, wow, you know, that was my job, was just simply to point out to him that people on his own crew were concerned and that he should think about what he's doing because this could cause racial conflict. I'm all for his First Amendment, but I have my First Amendment right to criticize it. And I said, let's wait and see what comes out when the film's released. Well, then I happened to be in a hamburger place with my kids Saturday, and I see the front page of the Statesman dealing with the film uh, Machete. Commission must decide if Machete qualifies for funds. And they've got yours truly, Alex Jones, quoted in here. And the producer of the film is in the newspaper saying that we made it up that we have the script. Really, we made up the Arizona trailer with all those big stars saying those things. Uh, we made up that we got the script. We made it up that Robert Rodriguez told Ain't It Cool News that he did cut stuff out because it was racially incendiary. With a special Cinco de Mayo message to Arizona. We didn't cross the border. The border crossed us. Now, I don't know what film is being released on Friday, but I am concerned uh, about the fact that it's going to hype people up to go out and commit acts of violence with all the stuff going on in Arizona. So we're going to find out this weekend whether or not Rodriguez has put out his race war film. And we're going to find out if this guy is a total opportunist because what this does is it plays on fears of immigrants. It tries to uh, export America phobia that does go on in Mexico uh, to the rest of Latin America. All over Central and South America and on the island of Puerto Rico, they are putting up these big posters with an image of a bloody machete and a hand dripping with blood saying, everyone with machete. 
like it's a political uprising. And if you know Central and South America and Mexico's history, the machete is the symbol of the peasant uprising because they've been disarmed. They're not allowed to own guns, so they use their farm implements. Uh, the machete is kind of like the pitchfork uh, in European lore because they were disarmed. And so here's Rodriguez with a worldwide promotion of this in the streets of Latin American cities with an image of a blood-dripping machete. And then when you go see the film, at least from what the script says, it's all about evil gringos that must die because they're uh, oppressing the Raza or the race. And it's also come out that the Ford Foundation, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Rockefeller Foundation and others have given billions of dollars total to this liberation theology at the universities, not just here in the United States, but all over the world. So the system wants Hispanics, whites and blacks to beat each other's throats. And they don't want Hispanics to feel like they're Americans and become pro-Second Amendment. No, it's got to be a machete. Do you get the anti-gun message here? Uh, in so many horror movies and films, the people are always you know, preyed upon by the criminals or the zombies because they don't have guns. Hollywood will not show that image of people with guns defending themselves. So we've got Robert Rodriguez blurring the lines between politics and his race war film. And then having his surrogates, uh, the producer, in the statesman saying, there's none of this in the script. None of this is going on. This is crazy. When his own people contacted me and I have the script and we have the Arizona trailer and Rodriguez is out there saying, yeah, I cut this stuff out. It goes a little too far. Uh, so I'm seeing a lot of deception from their camp. And for their sake, I hope they have cut the really hardcore race war stuff out. Because if that actually showed in theaters around the country, I'd say 99% chance you're going to get some stabbings and some killings. My final point is this. I've really been researching Mexico in depth for more than 15 years. Reading what anthropologists, sociologists say from Mexico and the United States. And uh, just over the weekend, I talked to a lot of my Hispanic friends, some of which actually grew up in Mexico. And they said, Alex, we know that the big foundations are teaching that the United States belongs to Mexico to create division. We understand what's going on. And they said, immigrants like the 72 that were just murdered uh, right over the Texas border in Mexico come up from Latin America and are held by Los Zetas and the Mexican mafia. And men, women, and children are gutted and killed and in many cases raped first as part of an act of terror against these people. And the rich Mexicans in the United States, they're just like poverty pimps, just like Obama, using racial politics to exploit and to basically fire up Hispanics to kind of buy into this whole narco-terrorist El Jefe uh, worldview. And that it is really a lot of Hispanic Americans who are feeding and using the immigrant community, and that's why they're teamed up. Uh, with the big Fortune 100 companies who also want cheap labor and to allow Mexico to export its revolution to the United States. And so it's just sickening elitism the same way uh, Mexico has used anti-Americanism as a distraction from its own internal uh, problems for the last hundred years. This is now just an exporting of that to the United States. And I've seen in the news countless cases of mayors uh, and others who are Hispanic, who it turns out are coyotes, who have Hispanic immigrants as slaves. Uh, they bring them over here. They hold their families in Mexico. They make them do drug runs for them over and over again. And so really, we have to realize that especially Central and South American immigrants coming up through Mexico uh, are completely abused and are being used uh, by the corrupt El Jefe types that run Mexico and now much of the Southwest. And I guess that, you know, that's who he's rich and powerful. He's made hundreds of millions of dollars. That's who he hangs out with is the Carlos Slim types uh, that dominate Mexico. And it looks like Robert Rodriguez is really a cold-blooded guy exploiting a lot of people and creating a racial division in the process. But uh, we'll see what film he releases. But, you know, this isn't a joke. Uh, Mexico has fully collapsed. Every week, mayors are taken in front of their families and murdered. In some cases, they're raped first as an act of dominance. Immigrants by the hundreds every week are tortured and murdered and have money extorted out of them. And you never hear La Raza or Mecha or all these big race groups talking about that. 
Uh, they want to distract Hispanics with boogeymen of the Minutemen who've never killed any immigrants. But, but in this movie, do. Uh, you know, they'll give them that myth of who's killing them, when really who's killing them is the CIA-funded Los Zetas and the Mexican Mafia and the rest of them that are killing U.S. Embassy staff, kidnapping citizens. Uh, our police are being paid off by them, rolling over. And Robert Rodriguez just gets to glorify it and be the big king up there and, and uh, you know, create all this racial division and have movie posters put up in Puerto Rico and everywhere.